So if you want to import something, all you do is you go place, and I'll grab that same background that I used. Go to, I guess I deleted it. Let me find a picture here. Here we have some free Lamborghini wallpapers. So you drag it right in here. That looks sweet. That really does look sweet. Um, now, what I have figured out is it is so, so, so annoying is if you have something that's on top of one another and you don't click it the right way, you drag them. And it is really annoying. So the easiest thing is to do is once you get it aligned using these guides, these blue guides here, lock it into place. Then you can't, you can't move it around and it just saves a lot of trouble. Um, so you have your selecting tool, your cropping and like rotating tool, your text tool, and shapes and all that other stuff. So I'll just type a quick title here. It's going to be a little slow, I think. I don't think it wants to work. There we go. Okay. So this is a test page. And I, uh, my favorite font is Museo Sans. Um, make it 500. We'll make it bigger than that. There we go. Select this, make it all on one. And the cool thing about it being Adobe is that you can import straight Photoshop files, which is really sweet if you want to make, you know, like um, type press type things. All right, we'll move this up a little bit. Right about there. All right, now we will do insert menu we'll make it horizontal and this will automatically make a bar for you actually so we will lock this in place come on Hmm. See, for some reason I can't make it bigger. Uh, that is really annoying. Um, so it'll give line guides to, you know, kind of center everything, which helps. Oh my gosh. This is very irritating. about this tool this tool won't do anything that moves the whole thing don't do that uh, so there's your menu bar um, I don't really feel like messing with that um, so it's after you make your quick little web page or website which I mean it's not really a website I only have one page but um, hit preview and you can preview the whole working um, Thing. You can scroll and you can go to the other links and publish. This is where they kind of you know trick you into using their service that you have to pay for. If you want to use this on your own web host, just go up to export as HTML, hit export, and it'll export all of the pages into an HTML that you can just upload to your website. So that's pretty much the whole overview of Muse. It's simple to make a website, but if you have a Mac, just stick with iWeb. It is totally worth it. Um, you may, you can. It looks a lot nicer. Um, you may not have as much flexibility to move things around the page, but 
it's easier to quickly add things, add nice widgets, already have pre themes made where it's just drag and drop the images in, which is really saves you time. It really does. So that's all I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out that other video, the website I made to see the um the whole elements in the process. Um and thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to check out my other videos and reviews. Thanks for watching.